uh, Friday afternoon. It's nice and sunny out here. It's pouring rain with the risk of a thunderstorm in Thunder Bay. But uh, all we have out here is a little bit of waves and a little bit of wind. That I can deal with. Cool, cool beans. Check this out. You're going to love this. It's got my kayak here. and Oh, what's that in my kayak? Oh, is that a chainsaw in my kayak? Oh, wow. Look at that, eh? Huh. Well, it doesn't look like I'll have any trouble carrying that thing around. Yeah! So it's a little bit wavier out here than what I'd normally depart in. Of course, the camera doesn't do it justice, but let's see if we can get this wave to show its true colors. Well, well, not really. Anyway, when I move and they break right over the bow, so we'll see how this goes. Should be a fun trip. Okay, here we are, just approaching the site. Our moving time is 40 minutes, 36 seconds. And uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Four kilometers in 40 minutes. So I'm on the island now, just getting ready to unpack. And I've got five or six pieces back here, plus all these ones I'm going to be using as chairs and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about this chainsaw. I got this done in about uh, six or seven minutes. I mean, and it was effortless. Just fantastic. Now I got enough wood for the night, no problem. And about uh, 10 minutes of cutting, and here's my pile of firewood. There's at least 15 or 20 logs there. So I sort of just want to demonstrate to you the power of one of these pine knots. All I'm going to do is hold the lighter up in that groove right there. And this piece of wood should have enough oil in it that it just burns. It just goes all on its own. Uh, normally, if you took this piece of wood and you splintered it or shaved it or took your knife and dug into it, especially in that piece right there, you're looking at a beautiful amount of oil in this wood that's going to act as a great fire starter. So I just lit up the fire. I figure why not. The sun isn't quite over the trees yet. And it's uh, it's a little bit cool out here. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and I'm not uncomfortable, but when the wind blows I can feel that it's uh, it's cool. So here's my campsite for the night. I've got a tarp set up to cover the chainsaw and all my gear. And I've got my hammock there in the back. Same spot as it was last time. Just waiting on Chris still. Um, he'll probably be here within the next two hours I assume. I don't know, there's plenty I can do till then. Um, I'm gonna whip up the chainsaw before it gets too warm out to uh, go cut down, uh, or should I say cut up, a couple of trees. And there's Chris off in the distance. He's approaching. I don't have no idea what time it is, but there he is. Okay, so I just uh, spent a little bit of time this morning practicing using the chainsaw. Um, I've got it primed and ready to go right now. We're going to take down a little piece of this tree just to show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to cut some of these limbs off, and then we're just going to cut it right there, take a couple logs, bring them back up to the fire. Okay, here we go.
So it's Sunday morning, and I wake up. Chris is gone. He uh, packed up and left this morning. He said he was going to, but he also said he was going to wake me up, so that sucks. Anyway, uh, I just saw him around the corner out there at the point. I guess he's gone. So I'm just starting to pack up some of my stuff. I haven't had my morning hike or my morning coffee yet, so I'm a cranky. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. I have a baby bird in my hand. He was uh, resting inside my jacket on my kayak. I probably shouldn't have touched him, but he's just sitting there. He's scared. He can't fly. Um, he was stumbling around on the ground. Poor little dude. And he hasn't made a noise. Anyway, I'm going to uh, just keep him with me. So I'm just heating up some water for my second cup of coffee. I feel like a second cup of coffee. It's probably about uh, 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. The lake's still calm, so whatever. I'm going to leave when I feel like leaving. That little bird was pretty cool. So, it's uh, <clears throat> Sunday, and uh, Chris left early this morning. Uh, we had a really late night last night. <clears throat> we both ended up having a nap, probably around 6.30, 7 o'clock. We were both up by 11. <laughs> so we relit the fire, had a beer, and relaxed. But uh, I slept until about 10 this morning. Yeah, so we're around the point. It's pretty calm over here. The sun is really, really warm. I am uh, definitely sunned out for today. Um, feeling a little uh, kind of bleh. And uh, my face is burning. There is a pop can up in that tree. What the hell? Check that out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a can of Coke. There it is. Well, sort of to be expected on a long weekend. The beach is just packed with people and boats and cars. And <sighs> Anyway, hopefully nobody talks to me because I don't feel like talking to them. I just want to go home. <laughs>